it's a great office. Yeah, Jeff basically designed the whole thing. The architect just made the drawings. Jack, stop it. Next, you're going to be telling him what position I play for the Bruins. Quarterback. Jeff McGall. Nick Naylor. Mr. Naylor's here to see if we can't get cigarettes into the hands of somebody other than the usual Ravs. Sure. Ravs. Russians, Arabs, and villains. Oh, well, then, yes, I guess that is why I'm here. Good. I think we can help. Jeff invented product placement. I feel I have to ask, uh, are you concerned at all about the, um, about the health element? I'm not a doctor. I'm a facilitator. I bring creative people together. Whatever information there is exists. It's out there. People will decide for themselves and should. It's not my role to decide for them. It'd be morally presumptuous. I could learn a lot from this man. So what we need is a smoking role model, a real winner. Indiana Jones meets Jerry Maguire. Right, on two packs a day. Only he can't live in contemporary society. Why not? The health issue is way too prevalent. People would constantly be asking the character why he's smoking. And that should go unsaid. How do you feel about the future? The future? Yeah, after the health thing's blown over. A world where smokers and non-smokers live together in perfect harmony. Sony has a futuristic sci-fi movie they're looking to make. Message from Sector 6. All takes place in a space station. They're actively looking for some co-financing. So cigarettes in space. It's the final frontier, Nick. Yeah, but wouldn't they blow up in an all-oxygen environment? Probably. But it's an easy fix. One line of dialogue. Thank God we invented the, you know, whatever device. Brad Pitt. Catherine Zeta-Jones. They've just finished ravishing each other's bodies for the first time. They lie naked, suspended in air underneath the heavens. Pitt lights up. He starts blowing smoke rings all around Catherine's naked, flawless body as the galaxies go whizzing by over the glass-domed ceiling. Now, tell me that doesn't work for you. I'd see that movie. I'd buy the goddamn DVD. And, you know, if the Academy didn't send them to me for free. You know, you guys ought to think about designing a cigarette to be released simultaneously with the movie. Sector Sixes? No one's ever done it with a cigarette. Wow. Well, where do we go from here? You enjoy the rest of your day in L.A. with your son while I find out the answers to these questions.